earlier morning this morning than usual. Yesterday was one of my later nights because I was struggling to find a place to sleep. And it's getting dark pretty quick. Something of a dilemma. I ended up going with right there on the gravel. I would have slept in except for there were a bunch of sheep or something that were right there. I mean, right there. And uh, they were being sheep, making the typical sheep noise for a solid 20 minutes. But then the farming crew came and they had motorcycles and they're working on some farming equipment. <laughs> Opened the tent door and they were like looking at me and they were like, oh look, we made him wake up, hey! And I was like, morning. Day 13, full day ahead. Everything is damp from dew. Ugh, what a hassle. Anyway, so now I can feel completely guilt free about my normal you know, eight to nine departure time because then the sun will have enough time to all that dew. And then I can just uh, get on the road instead of, well, packing up at a normal pace instead of waiting for forever. I'll speak and span. Could have just done that later, but I'm still waiting for my tarp to dry. Some sea to shining sea. Haven't even made it to a sea yet. One day. One day I'll be at a sea. Somebody ran over a skunk. Oh. I mean it's it's a nauseating smell for about a mile, which in a car, about a minute. Not in a car. 20, 20 minutes. So I'm in uh, Burley, Idaho today. We got here after a couple days of the desert and uh, no amenity. I started the journey just wearing a, a pair of shoes I already happened to own at the time. They're a couple years old, but you know, I thought they were decent quality. It'd be okay to start with. I knew they wouldn't last too long, but the last couple of days, I've started developing aches and pains on every part of your foot and leg that you can imagine. But uh, they ended up just kind of getting worse and worse. And I knew I needed a pair of new shoes. And I would have gotten them sooner, except I was in the middle of, uh, literally in the middle of nowhere, because <laughs> I passed a gas station I said that but and I got close to Burley and like almost literally as soon as I got onto you know into the town's limits my left shin bone I, I was I was limping it hurt so bad and I made it to a store I'd found that advertised you know shoes and sports sporting goods and I walked in there and I was chatting with the owner about, you know, how he had gotten the store started and um, told him a little bit about what I was doing and he let me just uh, have a new pair of shoes just to contribute to the cause and walking outside, I cannot describe, <laughs> it felt so good, all the little aches and pains just went away. If you're ever in Burley, Idaho, support uh, Hat and Souls, uh, Isaac Bailey, you're the man. Meeting amazing people like this is one of the whole reasons I did this thing. Morning. <clears throat> Here in Hayburn, Idaho, just right next to Burley. Uh, my buddy, Kimi Company. This is Mo. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. Some, uh, another nice family has let me stay in their backyard. I really did something to the tendon, like, that connects my left shin to my foot. It hurts pretty bad. Let that serve as a lesson. Take care of yourself or else you'll just end up paying for it in the long run anyway. A lot of times when I meet people, they'll be like, oh, are you on social media? How do we follow you? And I'll try to like spell out all my handles for YouTube and Instagram and Facebook. So I ordered some business cards they should be ready. It means I have to walk like two miles each way to go get them. My shoes are inside. The doors are still locked. So right now I'm kind of chilling. My computer's inside too, so I can't really be doing anything right now until, until they wake up. There you go. Hey, hey. No tea. <laughs> well, I'm still in Burley, Idaho, actually. Got here yesterday and haven't left yet. It's been kind of an intense couple hours, uh, as in like 24. But my grandpa passed away yesterday. I found out in the afternoon and I was... I mean, we knew he wasn't doing too well, but you know, it's always pretty unexpected. And then additionally, pretty much right as I got to Burley, uh, something happened to my left leg right in front of the shin. It feels like a tendon just uh, strained or something. And then I was staying with a family here in Burley, or actually just right next to it in a little town called Hayburn. And their dog chewed up my pillow as well as my tent. Not, not very much, and I mean, I can fix it, but it's just another thing. And then I was trying to, I finally got around to trying to tackle editing videos, and it turns out that's tough. And my computer, I'm not sure if it quite has the uh, oomph. That would be ideal. And so all this means that I haven't been moving very fast, which is actually kind of disorienting because even though it's only been a few weeks, they've been a pretty, you know, high test few weeks. I, I want to use the word intense, but I, I use that word too often. <laughs> they've, uh, there's been a lot packed into those two weeks. I already sort of identify myself by this life that I lead right now, which it consists of walking and surviving and meeting people and so, being thrown off that for like 24 hours was actually threw me for more of a loop than I would have anticipated. And now I'm just sort of immobile. I can't go really anywhere without hurting my leg pretty bad. But now I'm planning, of course, going back to Salt Lake for the service for my grandpa. Rock on. And uh, being down there for a couple days and then I'll get a ride uh, from my parents or my sister maybe back up to where I am now or where I will be in a few days the service is being held in uh, just about a week another thing that's difficult is uh, I really enjoy the uh, sharing half of this journey you know the experiencing and then the sort of in order to effectively share something you have to understand it pretty well if you've ever heard the old adage about the best uh, the teachers understand it best kind of thing I have to experience it interpret it and try to spit it back out in a, a format that I feel satisfied with all at the same time which is kind of tiring as well as like in a medium video that I'm not super familiar with and being on the road means that I usually have a dearth of power and Wi-Fi and editing capacity and if I'm in civilization it's sort of hard to find somewhere to sleep because you can't just set up your tent anywhere and if I'm not in civilization it's easy to find somewhere to sleep but I don't have anywhere to power up my laptop or get Wi-Fi so sort of a lot of stuff I'm uh, navigating maybe just at the beginning maybe I'll get into the swing of things I imagine so That's sort of how life goes you get better at it Let's do this. Trying to figure out who decided it was a good idea to put a pole in the sidewalk. Some lazy city planner.
Well, I'm leaving the city of Burley. Got some new shoes, courtesy of Hat and Soul. Some new peanut M&Ms, courtesy of Walmart. And water has been restocked, courtesy of Jack in the Box. I'm going to try to make it to another bridge tonight. Not because I intend to sleep under the bridge, but because it sort of blocks the view of my tent from oncoming traffic, which... Bug. Anytime you can sort of be tucked away, just kind of makes you feel like you can sleep a little bit easier, because... Yeah, you're vulnerable when you sleep. That's why we put locks on our doors, and uh, I don't have locks on my doors. I guess I'm zippers. Tomorrow, try to do a good 16, 16 18 miles. And the same thing Friday, and then I can make it to uh, the Airbnb that my family's got rented in Twin Falls. Got some business cards printed up in Burley as well. You do you, all the relevant data. Back to the freeway, back to easy places to sleep, or back to all of it. Bada bing, bada boom. Boop! Today, in an attempt to let my leg heal, I was staying at a friend of a friend's house here in Burley slash Hayburn, Idaho area. And it's funny, just, you know, being on a couch and being on my computer, I just felt so out of place and uncomfortable and dis malcontent, discontented. I don't know, I just felt off. But being back out here in the cold, on the highway, next to all these cars that are just speeding past me, I can't explain it, but you know what? This feels like home. I just, I feel so much better. I feel like I'm where I want to be. Where I would need to be. It's a good feeling. Exploring full time. Seeing things full time. Moving. Making progress. I mean, it's not. Progress can be measured in many ways, but that's just what it feels like. It feels good. Lovely morning! Beautiful sights of the road. Crash? Uh, road kill. It's pretty consistent. Strap down. I'm not getting hit in the head by the solar panel anymore. I own you. Any place where you can get on the roof <clears throat> is a pretty cool place in my book. I always like the idea of getting on roofs. I can't be the only one, right? Well, after two weeks on the road, I kind of know what ideal looks like. I've got about the mileage I've wanted to so far today, 24 miles actually. And uh, I'm at a bridge. Me and bridge are, bridges are becoming just best friends. Lost my voice a little because I've been <clears throat> singing uh, kind of at the top of my lungs because you can on a freeway because it's plenty loud. Anyway, but right over there by the bridge, there's a place where there's a hill, so I'm kind of tucked away from oncoming traffic so I can put my tent up and not a lot of people will see me as they whiz by. And The shoulder's pretty big, meaning I won't be like right next to the trucks, which actually makes it a lot easier to sleep, I found. So it's kind of an ideal place to sleep. But not only that, there's this big um, gas station slash shopping center slash truck center. I think I'm in a near, at least, Eden, Idaho, so they've called themselves the uh, Garden of Eden. And it's pretty cool, actually. Inside, they have this big 
tree faux looking rainforest type area to go with the whole garden thing. And on top of that, behind the whole structure, right over here, it's under construction and it's kind of tucked away, which means pretty much no one's going to come back here. But there's a way I can get my cart down here. I kind of always have to be aware of if I can see the cart from outside the building where I am because it's got all my stuff in it. And I'd really rather not that, you know, be walked away with by somebody. Trucker. So right over there, you can see some windows which lead to like this, which are windows from a room in the basement of this truck center which has like couches and outlets and TVs and there's nobody down there so I can try my hand at editing videos since it's only 6.30 ish before I go back to the overpass to sleep for the night. There might even be Wi-Fi. I can see my cart. It's tucked away. It's sort of hidden. I mean places like this kind of lining up with my schedule to seem like one in a million. I'll uh, show you guys a little bit more of the the place once I've got my cart sort of sec secreted away and all that kind of stuff and uh, let's get some food let's get some videos maybe edited and uh, use the rest of the evening productively before I go back to my sweet camping spot for the night win 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 if you don't know what the third one is from just check the office it'll explain everything Got the sweet little lounge area. They even have showers if I wanted to, but I took one yesterday. I'm fine. Even more private. In a free movie, fireproof. I've already seen that one though. You think that your way is the only way? Do you, you have the right to invade anyone who disagrees? Bosnia, Somalia. Do you? Is that how you feel? They even have laundry machines. I don't need one right now. Again, just did my laundry. I've only been wearing these pair of clothes for one day. I got like four left. Easy. Check out that sweet art. Oh yeah. Another advantage to being on the road all the time is uh, all the sunsets you can handle. I mean, look at that, come on. This is what you miss when you're inside, and I almost missed it because I was inside the trucks. That's the kind of stuff that honestly just like makes you stop and go, what is the point of it all? What should I be doing with my life? And is what I've been doing up to this point what really matters? If all of us could do that a little bit more frequently than we do, I don't think that'd be a bad thing. I'm hoping I can do that more frequently than I have in the past. And I think it would be a good thing. Alright, day 15. Coming to a close.